In this video, we're taking advantage of a lovely spring day to head over to some sandbanks in search of some multi-species action. Although the tides were working against me, I punched against the tide to manage a few hours at anchor. Hey guys welcome to another video on a beautiful day out on the boat now today I've just come out on the wrong tides to try and catch some fish I've no idea really where I'm gonna be anchoring or what I'm gonna be doing but I've got loads of bait uh, I think I'm gonna try the South Port Banks for some flatfish and just try and have an anchor just try and get you out of that wind um, yeah I'm just gonna head over it's about high tide now so I'm gonna head over to the South Port Banks, see if I can pick up some flatfish, maybe a bass, just some general fishing really. Just too nice of a day not to go out. Let's get to anchor. First fish of the day, a little bit unexpected. There's a little whiting. Didn't think I'd get one of those in April. I've forgotten my uh, wind mic today, so apologies if the audio is a bit iffy. Slightly better fish. Lovely little thornback ray. He's a male fish, you can tell by these claspers he's got down here. I'm sorry I didn't get the fight there. I was just reeling this in, I didn't even know um, that there was a fish on. So I wasn't prepared, otherwise I could have filmed the fight, so sorry about that, but yeah, I knew something a bit bigger was on there. Let's get this one back. If you're not sure where to hold rays, that's the place just there, there's a gap in the cartilage. You really don't want your finger in their mouths. Rigs for today are my old simple one up one down. I've got a five ounce lead there, loads of beads in case there's some place around and I'm mounting with these macro strips. Usually I wouldn't use one that big but if there's rays around like I've just had. I've upped the bait size a little bit. Unfortunately, the audio in this next clip was just too bad, so I thought I'd cover it in voiceover. I'm basically just saying that although this mark isn't too bad for catching loads of dogfish, the fishing trip just wouldn't be complete without one, and this small female gave me another species, so I didn't mind catching her at all. Oh, 
Well, I've just had both my rods go off at once. I sort of grabbed one with each hand. As soon as I had one fish in, I grabbed the second rod and pulled in a nice double shot of white in. That one would be a keeper fish. You could keep that. I'm not going to. I'm going to put both these fish back. But the bites are coming thick and fast. I'm really enjoying this. And another white in. Getting to the point where I'll not film all of these now. I'm hoping to get into another ray and film the fight for you, but sport is continuing. Again, the wind made the audio a bit rough here, but here are the two biggest whiting of the day, which came almost simultaneously, one to each rod. That first fish was the biggest and is well over a pound, then the one on the right isn't too far behind. Now most of my fish go back, but I did decide to take these two for the table, as they're perfect eating size and I do like the odd whiting. That's my hand. Lovely big white in there. I really didn't expect the whiting sport to be so good in April, but I've, I've lost count, I don't even know what number this is. I must be getting towards 10 now. Another nice fish. Ooh. Again, just something I wanted to say. I apologise that this video has been hectic, it's just been fish, fish, fish. I've not got much scenery and stuff in between, I, I apologise, but that's because A, it's a little bit rough, as you can probably see just from this. Um, and I'm getting thrown about a bit of anchor. Never looks that much on film, but it, it is chopping up a bit. And uh, secondly, because there has just been loads of fish action, I've only come out for a couple of hours and, and the rods, I just can't keep them in the water, which is great. So yeah, apologies if this video isn't quite of the quality that um, they often can be, but I'm glad you're watching all the same. And another white in. You can see that one. It's been eating little white bait. Nice. Really good sport this time of year on these guys. Let's get him back before he loses his dinner. Well, I've tucked myself in down here um, to get out of the wind because it is really, uh, if you look out there, it's rather kicking up a bit. So hopefully, I don't know if any of the audio of the fish has worked. I really hope it has. Um, but I just thought I'd yeah, I'd just do a piece of camera just saying that I'm, I'm really impressed at the, the fishing at the moment. I've been waiting a while. Um, I've got friends I'd like to take out and I've got trips I'd like to do. Sorry if there's a lot of water noise as well. I'm a bit slapping around at anchor. But I've been waiting for the fish to really come in and now I just have that feel that the fish are coming back into the estuary and it's just sort of coming alive again and that's a really nice feeling. So hopefully this is the start of some good things to come. Got another. Little thornback ray. Just a little juvenile female fish this time. But I'm glad I wanted another one of these. You can tell the bite is different. It, it, it can be subtle as they're going over the bait, but once, they, once they've got the bait in their mouth and they move off, the rod goes, even on titchy little ones like this, so. Yeah, what a productive session. I can tell that the, the fish is just coming in now. It's great. Sometimes, when you catch a ray of any species, they can hunch up like this. If this happens to you, don't worry, it's simply a defence mechanism and the ray is tense in its muscles. Also, don't worry about the release in the ray in this condition, as once they're back in the water they will relax and they'll swim off fine. At this point guys, I decided to up anchor and move, however I then got treated to a rare sight of a pod of harbour porpoise in the sandbanks of the estuary, a very rare sight.
Now, I love my cetaceans and I spent a few months in Tenerife working with the whales and dolphins there, so I was delighted to see these. Filming them was tricky, but I've slowed the footage down and hopefully you enjoy seeing a few. After that fantastic end to a great day's fishing, I decided to continue heading in and get the boat back on the trailer. Sorry that I didn't film an outro but the run in was a bit rough, but thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>